Hey, hey, hey. So, welcome to a new Bushi Gaming Let's Play. This Woo! is Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Oh my god. Personal favorite. Yeah. <laughs> so, we've only warmed up. Well, okay, Julian's a fucking master at this game. I'm just gonna say that. Like, he's <laughs> sort of. Uh, well, <laughs> he's actually played it before. How about that? You've beaten it. I've played this a little bit and made, like, an ab and absolutely embarrassed anyone who knows me. You know, like I'm an embarrassment to my line, my race, my name. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of a difficult fucking game, honestly. It's, and plus there's glitches. Yeah, well, lots of those. Yeah. So it's kind of unintentionally difficult, but it, I think it was supposed to... Like, it's supposed to be hard, but they also didn't do any favors by not programming it very well. <laughs> very much true. Thank you, Sonic Team, by the way, for this amazingness. This is Sonic Team? This is Sonic Team. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, Sonic Team, holy crap, just stop making Sonic games. <laughs> Clearly that is how to, like, guarantee success. They're like, let's see, we have Sonic the Hedgehog, we have Knights, and now we have some little fucking kid who uses eggs to defeat evil. Holy shit, they're... Oh, gross. <laughs> Sorry, um... Also, they don't talk. They just make yeah. grunts and noises and whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Anime. <laughs> yeah, good. Oh. Good. <laughs> this is a good lesson for the children. Hit birds with sticks! Yes. Especially if they're fucking attacking weird diaper wearing chicks. Yeah, that, that made me a little uncomfortable. Oh, okay, so it's God now. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is. <laughs> like, plot wise? Yes. Oh, that's the amazing. God. Oh, I love it. <laughs> he talks to you like at every level. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh, <laughs> it's god. god. <laughs> so, the gameplay, I can't even, like, how do I begin? <laughs> um, well, basically, you're. You. Um. Shit, this is hard. <laughs> basically, there's eggs, and you, you, you push them around, and they turn into ballistic weapons, and you hatch them, and there's things in them. Like, a lot of different things. It's really confusing how many things there are. You gotta listen to your lord and savior, Mini Funi, the chicken god of Morning yeah. Land. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a cult <laughs> aspect to this game. <laughs> so, we're in Morning Land, and apparently there's these evil crows that have the power to shapeshift into demon, like, animals or whatever. Like, all crows, really. Yeah, and they, um, <laughs> like all crows. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> and all they do. All fucking day or night, as you might see. Um, oh god, they're capturing people—not people. They're capturing basically the sages of each land to make it eternal night. Because without the crows of the sages, it can't be morning. Fair enough. Um, and that's and that's the crows is in the cockadoodle do, not the crows is in the crows that are doing the evil things. Right. Because that would just be. Okay, so we got the, uh... <laughs> oh, shit. We got the chicken suit. Yeah, I love chicken suit. We'll give you the power <laughs> over all eggs. Menstruation is my command! <laughs> Eggman would be so proud. This <laughs> is power you'll be able to use eggs with big crows. Perform various egg techniques. If you raise an egg, an egg animal, or sometimes even an item may hatch. Uh, yeah eggs and you roll them around and use them to beat up people or crows rather yeah. specifically yeah it's, so it's here's fun. here's our main villain guys that's the that's that's seriously with the main villain that's not just like a random crow summoner no he's that's the main villain right there hey. well, he does get a lot more fucking intimidating oh. at the very end <laughs> no, i was gonna say like this game's like keyword is disappointment oh cool i get battle armor oh it's a chicken <laughs> like, <laughs> oh look at that villain! Oh, he's kind of dorky bird. Like seriously, that's like an evil lieutenant at best. That's what he looks like. He does not yeah. look like the commander of the evil crow forces. Yes. Not at all. The the crow Nazis or whatever. Yeah, the crow Nazis. <laughs> so uh, I'm shooting eggs at things. Yeah. That is the concept of this game. And then you have this little gauge. And once you fill it up, you're able to hatch the egg, and something might come out of it. Or maybe not. Who knows? If you get lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, 
It's kind of bullshit that way. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, kind of like a real egg. The real eggs are always sometimes empty. It's like there's so many different eggs around like this, and like the pattern indicates what it might be. Yeah, well, there are multiple with like the same pattern, oh, okay. so yeah, it's a little confusing sometimes. Yeah. And you get points by uh, getting nice shoots. Nice shoot. <laughs> nice shoot. Nice shoot. I'm Japanese. <laughs> oh, yeah, there this, we go. This game is pretty Japanese. I love it. Best part of the game. Hatching an eggs. How come it's doing? Nothing. Oh, wait, serious? That's no bullshit. You could, like spent all this fruit and time. Could you imagine? Okay. If you were like a, a chick, a mother chicken, if you were a hen, and you just sat on an egg for like nine months or however, however long that shit takes to hatch, I don't even know. Probably like a week. <laughs> But you sat on an egg and you're like, I'm going to have a baby now. And all that comes out and it just breaks open and there's just fucking nothing in there. Could you imagine that? Chicken miscarriage is so that's terrible. So bad. Well, it's a, but even worse, it's not even like it's a miscarriage. There's just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. It's like, what the fuck was I'd that understand thing? if it was like a bogus item. It's like, oh, okay, well, you just got a shitty item. Sucks to be you. Or you got points or something like that. There's just nothing. <laughs> oh, this yeah. is just an empty, like, shell made out of protein or whatever the hell the shells are made out of. Harmon? I, I have no idea. I didn't pay attention to biology. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay attention to egg school. <laughs> Hard points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this fucking game. Um, so, if it isn't already obvious, you can't do shit without an egg. Yeah. You're pretty useless. Cypher, powers of fire and passion. The boss are just fire. <laughs> yeah! Got him. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> There's. Yeah, this game starts making like, Pokemon noises. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> legitimately. Because, <laughs> like, you can hatch eggs and then get a fucking Pokemon. Yeah. Oh my god, and you get these little coins that you use to collect. And if um, you collect them all in each mission, in each world, you can open up these weird Sonic Team logo eggs. Yeah, which we're not gonna give a shit about in this yeah. playthrough because that takes too much time. Yeah, we're just we're just playing. We're just gonna have some fun, see what happens. <laughs> and like, uh, some of them have like Sonic characters in them. It's weird, which is uncomfortable. <laughs> not that like I thought like, oh neat, what a fun little chicken egg. I was gonna say Easter egg, but that just seems inappropriate. Um. <laughs> um but it's like really uncomfortable to look because I looked it up I, when I heard you we were playing this. I looked that shit up because I'm like, oh, well, look at that. it's not obvious. No, no, it's weird. They're like, <laughs> it, it's you know what makes it weird? They're like sl they're like smaller than Billy Hatcher. That's what makes it weird. So it's like, what? What am I looking at? <laughs> okay, so the concept of each of these levels is that uh, they're all stuck in golden eggs, and what you have to do is basically do the same concept. You want to make sure you uh, feed them enough fruit by rolling them over it so that they become strong enough to be hatched and then they can turn it into morning. Yay. There you go. So it's kind of, I guess the best way to describe this game is it's kind of like Sonic Team's go at um, Super Mario 64. That's the way I tend to think of it. Or like one of the more recent, like, if, you know what I mean, kind of like a Super Mario game type deal. Because it's like every... Every, um, you have like a bunch of worlds with multiple missions with their end. And this is like the first type of mission that we do. Right. And there's like a race level in every one and a kill all the enemies and there's a bunch of different crap. It is very simple, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's, well, I mean, well, but the thing is like, the core of those, like, even if, if even if you want to draw comparisons, the core of like, that type of game is definitely gameplay. And this has arguably really, really good gameplay, in my opinion. Because it's just so unique and the way you want to get around is so well themed around what it is. Yeah, it's like. Well, I'm not gonna make that comparison because people are gonna be bad. I was gonna compare uh, Super Mario Sunshine to this. I can kind of see that, honestly. Because, like, you know, this is eggs and that the other gimmick is water. Yeah, well, it's. But it's, that's the thing. It's a gimmick, but, but it's the game. Yeah, but it's an effective gimmick in my opinion. Right, it's like it's the water thing I thought a lot of people give Super Mario Sunshine shit, but I thought the water thing was neat. And right. it's a cool thing that drove thoughtful gameplay mechanics. Yeah, here's the difference between a gimmick and something that it's centered around a game. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight. Batmobile is very much a gimmick because although there is plenty of stuff that they've contrived 
for you to get into the Batmobile. You don't always have to be in the Batmobile. Getting around outside the Batmobile is it's not as easy. Yeah, it's not sen it's not as central to game mechanic. It's a neat selling point, but you don't. It's not required for you to like. I mean, I guess it is, required. it is required, but it's like it feels like it's in gen disingenuous. Right? Uh, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> they make you like it feels like they force you in that shit. That makes sense. I can understand that. This was only very. There's very few instances in which you need to be inside of it. Hey, Rank. Don't expect to see a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> Speed run. No. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. Um, I don't remember if they ha make you have to go after most, if not all, the emblems to beat it. I'm pretty sure you don't have to go through every single level, but, uh, where it's you kind of control over to Patrick. Um, uh, Eric Gecko. Is that, this is the first boss level, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I can at least handle that much. Yeah, it's first, first boss is pretty easy. Well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll need to be Julian. <laughs> we don't want to repeat the circus hat mishap. Oh, Right, so we uh, we started. We got the idea to play this one because uh, we started playing like some old games uh, no just cares. out of nowhere. Yeah, I was just telling you, but oh, there's a boss here. Ooh. Okay, so uh, yeah. okay, simple enough. Um, we decided to start playing some old stuff, so we started playing K Kirby's Air Ride, which oh. we're gonna get to. Yeah, I um, hope. well that that'll probably <laughs> be a versus if anything. Yeah, that's right? gonna be a versus City yeah. Trial. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> um. We also did like Pac-Man World 2 and stuff, and we were just like, wouldn't it be great if we actually like could record this shit? And then I actually like researched my uh, software, and it actually can support it. So, fuck it. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, here we are playing Billy Hatcher because this game's fun. Indeed. Um, I played a lot of this as a child. I got. Back in the oh, good shit. old days. Oh, okay, shit. Good. I forgot the jump. I forgot. We I didn't oh. know if I could jump while I was oh, doing this. Fast. No, 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 no. No. Try to. Oh, you can still, no, no, you no. Can still be alive. Still be alive. I can do it. Oh. 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 oh, skill. Yeah, you can accidentally um, hurt your eggs. Oh. Yeah, uh, there we go. You can accidentally hurt your eggs and uh, you get less points when you hatch them, but. Oh, well. What else? And the bigger the egg, the more damage it does, but it also is able to. To, uh, it's good. It's a, got a bigger hitbox, yeah. more or less. What does the wind thing do? Oh, oh shit. shit! Well, <laughs> I didn't, how's there water there? That did not look like water. Oh fuck! Yeah, this game doesn't have very good checkpoints. I suppose that's the other big difficulty tech against it. I mean, we didn't get too far into the level. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. Though. <laughs> that's a little far to be going all the way back. I think. Like, I did a whole like rafting or whatever section. Yeah, sort of. I guess it took a while because we fucking fell. Um, oh, I see. I am playing I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the hurt box on the egg gets a lot bigger. Uh, so it's kind of a trade-off thing. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty decent design. Oh, shit. This game is designed like, you ha if you want to get A ranks and stuff, you have to be fucking good at this game. Like, um, you have to be like almost fucking flawless, honestly, a little bit. Is it, is ranking up time? Yeah, it's time points and. Oh, yeah, I gotta over forget it. it. <laughs> <laughs> forget the chick points. Yeah. Oh, was it me? Oh, no, I. I, um, <laughs> it's, I came like straight from work here. Oh. And I work at a caribou now, <laughs> if you recall. I do. So I spend literally all day just like, oh, I'm, in, I'm covered in coffee again. What's that happen? <laughs> huh. oh, just an average day. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, honestly, though. Yeah, but, yeah, so. oh, okay. Um, I haven't been given many work hours actually this week at all. Oh. So that's kind of bad because I need money at this point. Because I'm still trying to buy gotcha, um, bitches. things. Buy things from my apartment. Ooh. You have an apartment now? Yes. Or, uh, when? When did this happen? Uh, we signed the lease like before I got out of school, so sometime in May. Oh, sweet. So now I'll be moving in August 1st, actually. Uh, Double H Kingpin is going to help me move in, actually. Why? Stop, like... stop, stop. Whoa. Uh, I didn't even know that was a thing I could yeah. do. Okay, yeah, just stop yourself from rolling, uh, pull back on the control stick, and hit A. Oh, uh, yeah. Otherwise, you'll 
continuously jump and shit and fall right off the side. It's it's a death trap. Okay. <laughs> it's a death trap. You see, see what I mean about knowing about the mechanics, otherwise yeah. you're gonna die. <laughs> like a lot. Yeah. So, you just got a power up. What does it do again? I know we got here and then I fucking died, oh, so it's kind of a... Uh, it's, um... It's your eggs more powerful. Oh. So they do more damage. Yeah, but every fucking enemy here is gonna have low health bars anyway. Right. And you don't get to take it into the boss fight. Seriously? Oh crap. Right. It's all why about wouldn't they give why would they give you a power you can't even use? That doesn't make any sense. Like <laughs> it's like I should be rewarded for knowing enough to like seek out a power up. This guy sucks. It seems fight. like some of the eggs are almost randomly placed. Yeah. Well maybe I just to like throw you off, because again there are similar patterns of eggs that hold different things. Like mm -hmm. as we saw in the first level of this, that egg didn't give a shit. But there's another version of that egg that gives you an extra life. So, and you, there's no way to tell until you hatch it, so... So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's That's part of the, like... So, like, yeah, this game is just really oddly fair. Because, like, in every single area, there's almost no way you can just get caught without an egg. But it's like... But they still have enough, have plenty of bullshit. So yeah. How supposed to do this, right? Yeah. So there you go. Can't bring the animals into the battle either. It's like, yeah, oh, that is. Like, I figured they'd be like imperative. So we need to find a water. So I need. So I should just fuck this egg, basically. <laughs> yeah, just fuck it. <laughs> just fuck, fuck it. the egg, literally. Um, unless that was a water one. No, it wasn't. Only one that's in five. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be some beyond. Oh, uh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. here we go. Oh, come on. Okay, the, ca <laughs> the camera's, camera's a little screwy. The camera's not the best in this. Oh, boss. Okay. Oh, so you can, you can speed up, run uh, into a running pace by hitting R as you're holding it and moving. Nice oh, catch. Right. And now we got Penguin. Then. Penguin. <laughs> Cliff and powers of water and life. Yeah. Power <laughs> over life and death. Oh, you gotta go talk. You gotta go look at him. Oh, right in front of him. Yeah, that's that's a little arbitrary. Yeah, it's like, they might as well just give it to you as soon as you hatch it. But... Although, I guess it makes sense, because you can hatch other ones while you have it. So it's like, maybe you don't want to switch, because as soon as you do, the other animal will... Uh, how, do I, how do I do that? X. X? Yeah. That's why. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can egg bounce. That's another... I think that's a good spot. Oh, holding A makes you go for power. There we go. There you go. It's, it's like Mario. It's like the higher long you hold A, the higher you go. And sometimes you just fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> like Mario. You just jump into it, you don't get a bounce into it. Oh. Can't Mario. see anything. There. Oh. Okay, doing good. Dark game, the dark games. Yeah. We'll fight the boss in the next episode. Yay!